All right, everybody. It is me, Johnson Chan. I guess we're we are going back to that old intro. At least when I wake up through the first video of the day. All right. So there are no new crypto projects from my YouTube sources. So before I do the X Y Z, you know, just pick a random project, you know, try to vet it a little bit. Uh, there's actually something serious going on in the crypto markets. So I just spent like basically the past couple hours dealing with it. And, you know, long story short, I wish I had a little more money because I want to be buying up Terra USD right now. So if you're not, well, actually you're watching this video, then you're probably well aware. So right now, crypto markets are getting just hammered. Even CoinGecko is down, basically. I, I can't access the site. You know, maybe some of you might be a little more lucky. Uh, okay, so the recovery is already started, right? Because that's what this video is actually about. Okay, so we got a lot to unpack here, right? But basically what happened was something was going on in the stock and worldwide markets, all right? And people, Greg Manorino did a video on it, but because it was there was so much crap going on, I didn't really pay attention to what he said. But basically he said that it had, it's because inflation came in hotter than expected and then people were fudding like the world markets, all right? Not, crypt, not just crypto. But the world markets were going crazy, and then they were like, oh my god, interest rates are going to go out of control, everything's dying, I got to get out, I got to go into the dollar. So that's basically what happened, stock future, like look at this reversal, holy crap, we're actually up like seven, 800 points on the Dow, and then the corresponding whatever on the other NASDAQ and S&P 500. So basically, everyone was trying to price in a 50 or 75 basis point interest rate hike, which was like going to kill everything, right? And therefore, the bond market was going to go nuts. But when I woke up this morning before, and I checked the crypto markets, what basically was happening was the, the U.S. debt market is stable. This is very stable, right? The dollar index was even red. It's still actually getting more red. So people are dumping dollar. People are basically dumping dollars, they're dumping their debt, and they're buying up stocks right now. And and before, or see, this is coin, see, this see this, this is cash. See, right now, before, Bitcoin's at 29 and a half, going below 29. In fact, I think it was below 29,000 for a very brief moment. Now look at Bitcoin, right? It's already shot back up a ton. In fact, everything's going back up a lot, all right? And of course, Terra USD is going back up. So we had, I know it's a little, I know it might be a little hard, especially if you're new to my channel, but just try, you might, you're going to have to replay this video, but basically everyone was panicking. They, they wanted a tsunami of cash and then they found out that basically, I guess something right now is the Fed is already saying that they're not going to do anything crazy. They're going to do quantitative easing, blah, blah, blah. So now the markets are like, oh, okay, well, it's reverse course. Now let's buy everything up. And that's what you're seeing now. This is good. This is what I want. I want things to go back up. I'm sure you do too. But in that brief moment where everybody was panicking, what was happening was everybody was dumping all of their reserves on crypto markets to deal with the inflation FUD, right? And then that had a, for whatever reason, that had a severe impact on Terra USD specifically. And because Terra USD is going all the way down and now it's coming back up by a lot, I spent the past couple hours trying to buy up more of this. Because I even did the video on the stablecoin video yesterday, and I told everyone I'm in this particular. Oh, let me click it. I am in this particular thing, UST BUSD. Like even when, even before when I woke up, when Terra USD was like 31 cents, now it's already back up 50% already, and it's like just barely an hour. I was only down like 40% in this thing. I was like, holy crap. My video works. So I was just scrambling to buy more. The only time that this would not work is if, you know, this thing actually goes to zero, which is why I have, that's why one of the first things I did before buying was to find out, okay, there's something particularly problematic with this stable coin. What's going on? So this Do Quan guy apparently is the guy that created Terra Luna and USD Terra. So I'm just going to link this to the thing. Um, but this is his thread. All right, we'll go into that in a second. Yeah, look at this. You know, by the time I finish this video, this thing probably is going to be back at like 75 cents. And then it's just like, oh, okay. Well, I got, I literally just doubled my money in Terra USD. In fact, I'm actually going to triple my money because I bought when it was at like 31 cents, right? You know, I didn't buy much, but, you know, I'll, hey, a buyer is a buyer, right? Just, this is just dollars. I just want all the dollars, all right? Because especially right now, because everyone's dumping their dollars. This is the Dixie, right? US dollar index. All right. 
So cryptocurrencies are going crashing. Let's use let's use this one because CoinGecko doesn't work right now. So crypto went down because point of this, Do Kwan has to sell off his Bitcoin and other probably other crypto reserves to shore up Terra USD. But that's also going to send a shockwave to everyone else. All right, they're going to send a shockwave to everyone else. So everyone else is dumping. All right, because remember everybody wants cash and then. Because of the inflation data so now everyone's dumping it's causing a problem now things are reversing right thank god and in addition to that janet yellen actually was uh i don't think it was here it's not here on this page but basically janet yellen like our u.s treasury secretary even specifically just said the crash in terror usd stable coin is the reason why we need to regulate crypto that's not helping things either but obviously the governments have always bitched like, oh, we're going to regulate, we're going to regulate, we're going to regulate. And then they kind of really just don't do anything. Unless you're in China, right? But the China FUD has already played itself out a long time ago. So let's see, yeah, Terra USD is at 48.5. I don't know if we want to go over the whole thing, but basically, uh, you know, I didn't actually read this part. Yeah, I actually need to know how the peg stabilization works, but a review of the current situation is... UST is currently trading at 50 cents. This was three hours ago. The price stabilization mechanism is absorbing Terra USD supply. It's currently over 10% of supply, but the cost of absorbing so many stable coins at the same time has stretched out the on-chain swap spread to 40%. So this is basically like saying your price impact is very high because everyone is just trying to run for the door, right? They're, 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 they're just fleeing. So this might actually be useful for me later because when the U.S. debt market implodes eventually, right, and everything goes to shit, right, God, I gotta stop clicking this because is this website even working for me yet? Holy shit! Oh my god, are they getting hacked or something? CoinGecko is not even working. I'm getting a 404. Yeah, it's not even loading. Well, I don't know. Uh, I hope it's not like, well, there's nothing on this. Oh, I don't know. All right. So, all right. So when this U.S. debt market finally implodes, this might actually mean that I probably need to get out of U.S. Terra in the future. Because Terra is actually a fractional stable coin. So, yeah. I mean, that's the thing about stable coins. Like, I need to actually have something that is actually a $1. All right. So, you know. All right, so let's actually look into that now. All right, so let's say everything is dying. All right, this is a good this is a good educational thing. So USDC works, so I can go into that. Tether surprisingly is working despite everyone just constantly shitting on them, but they're actually backed by U.S. dollars, specifically the U.S. bond market. Uh, the thing is, they're just they're just so uh, they're just so uh, centralized. That's why I don't like it. All right, so Dai is working, so they're still worth a dollar. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so in the future, I would have to probably devote like twenty to thirty-three percent of my dollar reserves in Terra USD, and then that's it, All right? Because when the debt market implodes, I might actually have another problem like this in the future. You and I will, right? If we're in Terra USD, All right? Because this is obviously supposed to be worth one dollar. Right now, it's not. Right, so, so I'm kind of hoping that this this experience, once Do Kwan gets over this, he really figures out, you know what, maybe we really do need to change the thing. And even his replies down here to this thread, people, some people are actually saying, and I got a lot of likes saying, hey, we need to look at like the way you collateralize Terra USD, so we don't have this problem in the future. So let's see. What's an, I know Magic Inter is Magic Internet Internet Money listed. I know it's got it listed here. It's a big coin. Mem Magic. Okay, well it's not in the top 100. Hmm. Magic uh, Internet Money. Oh, for some reason it's at the bottom. Yeah, that don't make no sense. All right. Well, yeah. See, this is maintaining peg just fine. It's a dollar. Yeah. All right, so there's literally, just yeah, there's plenty of good ones here. I wonder if Day Stablecoin is uh, worth a dollar, because I know Day's finance always had problems. Day. Yeah, even Day is holding their pig. They're still worth a dollar. All right. 
Well, that's good. Uh, well, that's good for me because, you know, when crypto goes down and then Do Kwan has to like dump his crypto to shore up Terra USD, he may not have the money to do it, right? Because the price of crypto is going to crash too much. So. All right, well, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's already back at 50 cents. I mean, at this point, I don't really care. I just want to just buy more of it, you know. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, I mean, I know ultimately the uh, stock markets and crypto is going to go up, right? Because we know that's the uptrend, but it's going to be very volatile. I mean, it's just too much crap going on. And on top of that, the Federal Reserve has to figure out what they're going to do, I guess, in June, because that's when they meet next. Uh, they're going to have to decide what they're going to do with the uh, interest rates, right? Which is, like, what's the 10-year yield going to be, right? Are they going to do 25 basis points, 50 basis points, right? The Fed has already said repeatedly they're not going to do large rate hikes, right? They're going to do, they're going to actually slow down their rate hikes. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll have to see. Hey, see, look, even CNBC is already covering this, too. Controversial. Stablecoin UST is meant to be paid to the dollar and plummets below 30 cents. I mean, this thing is obviously already, you know. Sister token Luna's lost roughly 99% of its value in the past. So yeah, I don't, even, I don't even care about the Luna thing. Because from what I understand, Luna is also supposed to count as some kind of backing for US Terra as well. All right, so Luna Press Mission uh, dramatically absorbing the ARBs, the arbitrages. All right, yeah, so, he's, so Do Kwan is actually talking about the Luna price right here. Before anything else, the only path forward would be to absorb the stablecoin supply that wants to exit before UST can start to repay. There's no way around it. We propose several remediable, remedial measures to aid the peg mechanism to absorb supply. First, we endorse the thing where it's going to increase the base pool from 50M to 100 million SDR, decrease pool recovery block from 36 to 18. This will increase minting capacity. See, I don't understand what any of this is, but he's obviously saying we got to change the parameters, and it's going to increase the minting capacity from 293 mil to 1.2 billion. So this reminds me a lot like what the what happened to us in 2008, right? The Great Recession, right? That affected the, the, affected the entire world. We had a liquidity issue back then. We just couldn't have, we just didn't have enough dollars to float around. That's why even when you try to go to a bank, you couldn't pull money out of the ATM. This is basically the exact same thing happening. But obviously, Do Kwan already is very well aware of it, and so is the community. So they're like, yo, we, we have no liquidity. We need to, like, print more dollars, right? Hey, just like the Federal Reserve. That's all that this is. It's a very simple problem, especially because we've already, you know, we as humanity have already experienced this problem, so we already know what the solution is. Just print more money. Like, literally, print more money, right? This is our U.S., you know, Federal Reserve money dollar chart, right? There's there's just like, there's like tw almost 22 trillion with a T, right? Trillion dollars in the world right now. So, yeah, just keep, just, just, just keep, keep that, keep, keep burring, you know, burr, right? BRR, brr. More ideas will be discussed at the community forums. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm sure they're... The simple fact that they know that the first thing they have to do is increase liquid, like actual liquidity so that like transactions can go through, that already tells you that these people know what they're doing. They're at, they're at least as smart as me, preferably smarter than me. So that's why I'm not worried about it. Also, this guy is doing fractional banking. Right, that's how he's setting this up, which you know is a little, you know, it's like, all right, you know, I'll bite. Uh, so you have to really know what you're doing. You're doing fractional banking, right? Which is basically what US Terra USD is doing, uh, because you know that situations like what's happening now could easily kill you, and that's what we're going through right now. With the current on-chain spread, paid pressure. Can you guys see this? And U.S. Terra burn rate, the supply overhang of Terra, i.e., bad debt, should continue to decrease until parity is reached and spreads begin healing. Yeah. Especially now that things are getting better in the market in crypto for now, because people are buying back up, so that means they should they have to burn less reserves to shore up Terra. Naturally, this is at a high cost to Terra and Luna holders, but we will continue to explore various options to bring in more external capital. I think that's... What does this word actually mean? I'm pretty sure this, in this context, it means external. Yeah. That's a very fancy word for saying external. 
Okay. External capital to the ecosystems and reduce supply overhang on Terra. Yeah. Basically, it's kind of like running a Ponzi scheme, essentially. But the U.S. money, I mean, it's by its nature, is a Ponzi scheme. Either everyone buys it and uses it and then believes it has value, or they don't. All right. That's how it always is. You know. You know. If we, you know the the, the char what's his name Charles Ponzi, which is what the Ponzi scheme was named after. He wasn't the first person to do that, probably. All right, he's just probably the most famous, and people just like you know, it's got a, that's a pretty funny name. We'll just call it a Ponzi scheme. And when we begin to rebuild Terra USD, we will adjust its mechanism to be collateralized. This is the most important thing because I think this actually means. Yeah, we're gonna be less leverage, and I'm actually gonna and I'm actually gonna back Terra with you know actual stuff. So the Terra ecosystem is the vibrant, uh, passionate teams. Blah blah blah. Yeah, they're actually on the um, Cosmos ecosystem blockchain. So you got Juno and Osmosis and whatever. Yeah, so like these guys really know what they're doing. Terra's focus on around the long term horizon. Our setback and another side of the space. Only so last year will not deter. He calls themselves the lunatics. Yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Yeah, so they've got some people fudding and whatever, but the most important thing is he has to actually collateralize this with actual dollars, which means eventually in the future he has to actually back his Terra USD in some form with actual US debt. All right, just just buy US debt. All right, just buy like the one month or two month or three month or whatever. Right. Just like your 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 stable coin has to be eventually be backed by actual U.S. dollars, all right? Tether prints U.S. Uh, do, they print dollars all the time too. In fact, a lot of people like to fud about that. Well, hey, guess what? They're still worth a dollar right now, right? Uh, right? Why? Because Tether actually holds U.S. debt, right? They actually uh, I think you can just go on their website and then they just tell you what their reserves are, but they. They own a bunch of U.S. Uh, Treasury yields, right? Because they have to back their tether with something, and they are also actually regulated and highly centralized, specifically probably by the U.S. government, right? Same thing with USDC, right? USDC Circle, they're the exact same thing. So, so hopefully this experience will tell Do Kwan that he's got to do the exact same thing. That's all it is. I and mean, I would prefer that he actually stop bashing Dai stablecoin. All right, because I noticed that some old tweets uh, brought that back up and said it's bad karma. Yeah, it actually is bad karma. It's like, why are you trying to take out Dai? All right, just just focus on your own stuff. Also, he's Asian. All right, I think he's Korean. So he has to understand, especially as Asians, that you know it's bad karma to like go f somebody over and then you get f'd over yourself. Right? That's kind of like what's happening with the situation between you know Kino Casino and then uh, Saint Nick. Right? You know, it's all bad karma. That's why I'm staying the hell away from that stuff. All right, I'm, I'm watching, I'm observing, but, you know, I'm watching from, like, a distance of, like, you know, several hundred thousand miles. All right, I'm using a telescope, basically. <laughs> okay? So, so anyway, I'm going to just, uh, all right, I'm going to leave links to my stablecoin video that I did yesterday. I'm going to leave a link again to this, the, the thread here. You can read, of course, the price charts. Um, so... Uh, today's gonna be a pretty volatile day, so yeah, Bitcoin's already back. So I mean, I guess we'll see how it plays out. <clears throat> but again, as long as everything just buys back up, and I see the dollar actually crashing, uh, or the dollar index. <clears throat> believe it or not, the dollar index going down is really good for Terra USD because that means it's cheaper to buy Terra USD. Because what what's the problem right now? We have a liquidity problem. And that's why the first thing that he's doing is increasing the liquidity minting, right? By basically uh, 4x, like quadruple or quintuple, right? 4 to 5x. So if nobody wants US dollars because they're dumping it to buy stuff, which is what you're seeing here, right? And in the bond markets, the same thing. People are dumping their dollars, so the US Treasury yield. This is how all bonds work, which is why I hated them, because they're they're like the opposite of what you know you think. But basically, this thing is going up the yield because people are selling dollars. So that means there's more dollars in circulation in the world because people want stuff. They don't want dollars. 
Well, guess what? You know, obviously, we this is Terra USD. We need dollars to shore this thing back up. So hey, perfect. All right. Now, now it's not going to happen instantly, but it's happening pretty quick. So you know, whenever you know, whenever this gets works itself out, then whatever. You know, and it's still pretty high risk. I mean, there's a lot of fud. I obviously I don't know everything about Terra USD. I just got into it basically like a couple days ago. <clears throat> And again, this ultimately is, uh, you know, let me see, has he said anything new? Uh, no, he's still actually working on fixing this problem, yeah. And then if you haven't noticed, the gas prices across, across most blockchains right now are just, like, jammed. Like, it's just really bad. Oh, yeah, don't even bother with CoinGecko, that site's dead. <laughs> they're, they're, they're probably getting slammed. Either that or, I guess maybe something happened, like, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty funny too. Luna will hit one dollar before Terra USD. I, wait, I'm thinking, is it? Yeah, I think I, I couldn't tell if this is a trolling tweet or something. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically Terra USD. I'm personally trying to buy up more Terra USD. There's gonna be a lot of fud. Um, obviously, don't go all in, right? Because you don't want to lose all your money. But all I'm seeing is just uh, opportunity right now. Just endless amounts of opportunity. At one point, the U.S. Terra Binance dollar liquidity pool was paying up to 600% uh, APY. So when this thing finally compounds, oh boy, I'm going to get a lot of dollars. I'm going to get a lot of dollars. So, yeah. So, yeah. So I did a different video today, uh, but this, this news is literally just all over the place. So I got to get in on it, too. So... You know, plus, you know, like this is actually real news. It's like, because I, I was trying to figure out why the hell is crypto dumping when, you know, everything else checks out. The U.S. debt market was stable, the dollar index was going down, and stock markets were going up, right? Which tells me, okay, so there's something specifically wrong with crypto. So, you know, I did all the research. That's what the result of that is in this video. So now you don't have to do any research. Well, actually, you should do more research. Um, but... Yeah, uh, I don't know. I really don't want to have to keep track of Terra USD though, but I do probably have to at some point in the future check to see if he's actually collateralizing, you know, Terra USD with like actual U.S. dollars, All right? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, because now my voice is uh, starting to go. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. I don't know what the project's going to be because, you know, I don't want to just take today off because it looks like everyone's taking a day off in crypto. But not me. Not me. So, like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you to all the old and new people watching this video. Uh, let's keep uh, growing the channel. Let's try and see if we can push for 1600 and I'm actually pretty happy. I mean, it sucks that crypto is really down, and I think Sphere... I mean, Sphere should be back up above one penny now, because crypto's back up. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, Sphere's already at 1.05 cents. I mean, it's still pretty bad, but, you know, whatever. Like, there's just too much volatility right now. People are still terrified. So, I don't know how long that's going to last. Preferably uh, sooner rather than later, right? But... You know, that's just how it goes. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, and yeah, please, you know, try to actually, you know, spread this video around and subscribe to my channel because I really know my stuff. But, you know, I, I, like it would help calm things down, <laughs> you know, if more people would, you know, help me out here. Right. There's like you, you only hurt yourself and, and, our, and us by keeping this information to yourself. All right. So, yeah. I mean, unless you want Terra USD to just remain at, like, zero or whatever, right? But that's really bad. Okay, that's really bad. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. I'm very confident about what's going on. Very, very confident.